Hello, today we're going to be uh, painting a sycamore leaf and the colors are just fabulous. Um, I couldn't wait to do this one. So here we go. Uh, we've got spring green, Christmas green, yellow, uh, coral, orange, apple red, burnt umber, and nutmeg. Um, and we've got a little beige over here. For the background, I mixed a little yellow and beige to do just the background. I laid my leaf down like so and just painted over that so I can have a little background already there for ready for my leaf. I also mixed burnt umber with the red apple to give me a real pretty maroonish color. I really like that color. To get this pretty gold color, I use the, the coral, the yellow, and a little bit of the nutmeg. And as you see, I just kept pulling these colors through this. And uh, of course, it was dark here, and I kept adding yellow until I got this real pretty gold. Um, I, that's just orange. I just added on top because I thought I might, might need some orange today, too. But those are my colors, so we're going to get right into this. I'll put those over there so hopefully y'all can see a little bit as I get in. So let's start with this. Um, so this leaf, you've got your um, green yellow right here. It was more green the other day. I've had this for a while. You've got your rust right here. You've got your darker browns right here. And of course you've got the veins of the leaf. So I think I'm going to start right here. Nope. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to start on the top. Okay, here we go. I want the, the lines, the veins to be light. So I'm just going to try to do a little bit at a time. And I want them to kind of bleed in this. Oops, now you see what I did? So when you make a mistake, you can put your paintbrush in water and you can pull that mistake right off. So there's that. And I, would, I don't want this to be real dark, so I diluted it. Okay. And if you notice this, I mean, look at all the veins in this leaf. Some of them you can see more clearly than others. So just notice how that goes. And you can also turn it around in the back and see them too. All right, here we go. I like to put what I'm painting <laughs> as close as I can to my paint and my canvas. It just helps me. <laughs> So like I said, some of these show up more than others. I'm doing it real light. And some of them connect together and some of them don't. So I'm going to do a couple more of those, then I'm going to get into the, the colors. Mm -hmm. That one I felt like that was way too dark. So, I'm going to lighten it up. Okay. 
actually, this is the hardest part is drawing these lines. <laughs> So this part is the green yellow. So I'm going to dip into the green, dip into a little bit of the yellow and get a real pretty, see how pretty that color is. And I want a little bit of brown because it's too bright. And of course I need more paint than that. Some people like to mix all of their colors before they start painting. I just I do sometimes and sometimes I don't. It just depends on what I'm painting. So, just pulling these colors this way. This leaf has a lot of beautiful colors in it. Acrylic dries real fast, so you've got to have you some water near it to keep your paint soft. Keep it from drying out. Sometimes it even feels like it's going to dry on the brush before I can get finished with something. <laughs> Okay, so this part right here, I really like. This part up here, I don't like as much um, because I want to see more blending. So I'm going to dip into my reddish brown color and I'm going to start adding some right here is where we had brown. So See how I added that water to it? And it, that makes it look just so much more natural. This brown goes all the way here. Parts of it are real dark. This goes on down to here. I gotta keep getting back into that water so my paint will kind of flow and look more natural. even up here I'll soften these up okay I'm going to keep on going with that, the red maroon color, the red brown color that I made. Because see, all of this is brown, brownish red. More water. See how that water pulls the colors, makes it look natural some of these parts you want to be more darker than others Still in that red brown color. Up here, same thing. There's the vein. I 
it's brown right through there. See? It's lighter right here. Okay. Step back. I always step back and look what you're doing. See where you're going with it. Now over here, it's it's brown, but it's got some gold in it also. So after this, I'm gonna start dipping in the gold brown. And like if you see it's too, that was too, um, too much at the bottom. So I'm going to go back up here to the, the more gold than yellow there. That's the color I'm looking for. And I want this to bleed into the, the rush, the maroon color that I made. See, I want to just kind of let that blend mix a little bit more a little bit okay right here this is the rust right here is rust and right through oops too much water And I added a, just a little bit of orange right there to make that pop. Same thing right through here. I want some bright orange. See right there? More bright orange. Going back into the green. I didn't clean my brush that time because I want these colors to just kind of go together. Now I painted this earlier and the one I painted earlier looks different than the one I'm painting now. I, I can never paint the same thing. It always ends up a little bit differently. Uh, actually, when I'm painting something for you all, I paint it several times before I video. Okay, step back. Now, you can see here that these colors are way bolder than the actual leaf. So you have to decide how, how you want it to be. Do you want it to be more natural looking or do you want it to be, you know, just your interpretation of the leaf? Either way, it's, it's what you want because it's your painting. So I want to... Pull that green down. I don't want it so bright. And so I use that yellow gold that was on my paintbrush and dip back into my green. So I toned it down and that looks more like, actually it's still more gold there. Actually, But I'm going to leave it. Because when I first picked the leaf up, it looked more like this than this. This one's been here a few days, so it's getting older and the, the colors are are dulling when i first found this leaf it was i just was amazed at the beautiful colors it had on it just the soft green and then the gold and then you have maroon and brown So 
same thing here. I'm going to add some more brown. This brown. It's a darker brown. I still want that red to show through. Here and there. Sometimes I find myself paint, painting something and then going back, oh no, those I don't like those colors and changing the whole thing. So you decide what you want, what colors you like when you're painting something. Okay. This right here, I want it softer. It's to oh there we go even through this there's there's tiny little veins here and there colors pull it's getting there <laughs> Just a touch of the water just helps those colors to, to blend. Okay. Now I need to do some more of these over here. Okay, here it is. I see it now. Loading my brush up with them. Comes all the way down here from there. That's way too much paint. Tap my brush. Pull some of those colors off. Like I said, this is the hardest part. My hand is shaking today. I had coffee earlier <laughs> okay so we got that one and I'm gonna soften it but I'm gonna while I've got this color I'm going to put this on it too coming this way and they pull down to this now here's another way if you think that's too thick you can do one or two things you can pull it up with the water or you can dip into another color that's you know at the base of that color the green and use that to kind of pull back some of that thickness out of the darker color so that's another way when you make a mistake so several ways there we go I'm going to do some more of this green color here. Pull some more of this through. So, that is... I'm going to do a few more little things to it, but for the most part, I've got it done. Um, so I'll just keep playing with colors like that and adding some here and there. But 
actually this looks more close to the leaf than the other one I painted. So let's get the little twig on the bottom. I'm trying to find my brush. So this is the, the red brown I'm using that I'm gonna use for the twig. I'm rolling the paint off my brush. So it's just like this. And it goes like that. And you'll want to go in and pull, if you see some white, you can go back with the, the sand color, the beach color of the background to straighten up anything. So you like that. And you'll want to tip the tips of some of the little pointers, I should say pointers, like this is, this is really tipped out. So just do it like that. This one is a little more tipped. This side is too. So you'll want to do that with the, the green yellow color. Kind of tip it out. And what it makes this leaf I think so pretty is just the different um colors of the rust and brown and red and then you've got your gold and orange it just it's just beautiful so there's your leaf and like it like i said again if you want to keep going over it and soften the colors and blending the colors more you can but i hope you enjoy this little tutorial and y'all have a good day thanks bye